All right, in this short video, we're gonna look at a mobile home system. I get a lot of grief, nasty comments, because I do a lot of mobile homes. First of all, I don't really care, you know, if you wanna make fun of me, I make a lot of money doing them. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. This is a larger than normal Mortex coil. This coil is made for a four ton and five ton. A lot of you guys say, I ain't never seen a mobile home that needs a four or five ton. I'm gonna explain that to you at the end of the video too. This coil is 24 inches tall rather than the normal Mortex, which is only about 19 or 20. And this is a four row coil. This is a big coil made for a four and five ton condenser. And we upgraded the blower to a five ton. If you look right here, high speed is 1800 CFM. Um, now we'll go outside and look at the condenser. And at the end of this video, at my desk, I will explain why this mobile home needs five tons of cooling. All right, so here we have our big five ton Rude. And just FYI, I did ask at the supply houses, they even let me watch a commercial. It is pronounced Rude. It is not pronounced Rud. It is pronounced Rude. So we have a deck and people always say, why are the mobile home, why are the condensers always on a deck? There's even regular houses like this, guys. It's because where this guy lives, it floods. So this is a 14 sear, five ton, rude condenser. I'm adjusting the charge. Uh, that was his deck for the little micro channel medallion series. And we uh, asked him to lower it. The code is, and he kind of messed up on his code. He, He's supposed to be even with this, right? Well, with this right here. He's a little bit below that, but I don't think they'll say anything. And the reason I wanted him to lower it is because this thing is huge. So if I ever have to work on it already, and he built it big enough, uh, four foot by four foot, to where if I got to get to the condenser fan motor, I can step up on it. So we're adjusting charge right now. She's looking good. Hey guys, okay, so you saw the video of that system. Let's go over some of the bullet points. First of all, I want to clear something up relatively quick. I got a little agit, you know, again, guys, remember, just because I don't respond to your comment does not mean I didn't see it. Like I said, I read them all, but I got a little agitated this morning behind a comment and I didn't cuss at the guy or anything, but I did let him, I did give him a piece of my mind. It all started with the float switch video. Okay. Yes. Not my best video, very basic video, but I wanted to throw something up guys. Key, and, and that was the thing, you know, uh, one guy said, oh, come on, you know, big John, you should have had that on your truck or whatever, but you know, anyway, we're not, look, I didn't have a float switch on the truck. It doesn't happen that often. It is what it is, but we're, that's not what this is about. So, uh, he gets on that and this other guy chimes in and says, yeah, you know, I love John's videos and stuff, but he needs to quit fooling with these mobile homes and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, move into a different clientele. Oh, let me tell you something. When I started this company, okay, I started this company, I ran my first two days of, of service calls out of my wife's minivan, okay? I didn't get a loan from the bank to go buy a truck or anything like that, okay? Started out of my wife's minivan. Then my dad let me use that Dodge pickup truck I was driving that was belonged to my grandfather, until I could buy me something. Then I bought me an F-150, and now I have the Chevrolet truck, the three-quarter ton. Down here in Louisiana, buddy, we don't look down on people that live in mobile homes, okay? I live in a mobile home. So, you know, what you said is, is not right. I treat my customers in mobile homes the same as if they live in a Huge house with two, three, four systems, okay? And I give the same quality of work 
to the people in the mobile homes. Down here in Louisiana, people, just because somebody lives in a mobile home doesn't mean that they don't have money, okay? They just don't want to spend their money on some big fancy house. They'd rather spend it on other things. I know some some of my best customers, some of my most well-off customers live in mobile homes. Look, I don't do these mobile homes dirt cheap. There's some guys around here, they do these mobile homes, they turn a $500 profit on a complete changeout. I don't do that. When I price out a mobile home system, I price it out just like a regular house. You're going to pay premium price, but I do a very good job with them. As you saw in the video, I don't put the little bitty Mortex coil on a five ton. And we'll get to that in a minute too about sizing on mobile homes. I don't put the little bitty coil on a four and a five ton. I put the tall one because it has more surface area and it's a four row coil instead of a three row. You know, you have three rows of tubes or four rows. And because if you put the little bitty coil on a five ton and it, now if it's a four row small one it'll work i still prefer the big one but if you put a three row small on a four or five ton it's not going to work it'll freeze up there's not enough surface area for the coil so it will freeze i do these jobs right i you know i i don't just put the little flexible hose that comes with the mortex coil as the drain i don't do that unless you know now don't get me wrong some of the mobile homes i go in are kind of run down are their rentals and the budget is tight and in that case you know i probably will leave the existing flexible hose or replace it but when i do a job like i did today that man's got money that lives in that mobile home trust me he's got money we did his to the t we slid the uh, okay now let's let, let's get to the point of why would you ever put a five ton on a mobile home <laughs> because th that's a big mobile home. That mobile home is 30 feet wide by 80 feet long. Let's do that on the calculator here. 30 by 80. That's 2,400 square feet. That house I just can't, that you just saw, that house is 2,400 square feet. That's why I put a five ton. And some of you might say, oh, you could put a four on there. No. A f he had a four. It struggled. His evaporator was leaking and that micro channel condenser was leaking. And he specifically asked me, can you bump me up to a five ton? I said, yes, I can. Now, the blower that was in that air handler was only good up to four tons. That's why I made sure to point out that we did replace the blower housing. I called the Nordine supplier, gave them the model number of the mobile home electric furnace, and they sent me a five-ton blower assembly. It moves 1,800 CFM on high speed. That house needs every bit of five tons, especially down here in Louisiana. Okay, we're almost in November. We're a week away from the election, or two weeks away, which is the beginning of November, so most of you guys have snow or it's cold as hell. Well, let me show you what the temperature is here in the beginning of November. And I'm going to show you on my phone so you don't think I'm lying. It's 85, to, if that'll focus, it's 85 degrees. It's not going to pick it up. 85 in November. 85 outside, you start getting into 90, 95, 100 degrees. That house needs every bit of five tons. Look, guys, just because you don't do something, just because you do something a certain way, doesn't mean that it works like that with me. You know, you guys leave comments and, you know, oh, I can't believe you put a four ton on that mobile home or this or that. Look, up, no, up where you live, yeah, you don't need that. But come down here. It's a different ball game. And to the guy that said, you know, I need to get a better clientele and all that, look, getting back to that, I had a, I, I didn't have the greatest clientele. I've been in business. I'm coming up on, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm, a, I'm a little over a year and a half. I have a website now. But keep in mind, guys, I was going strictly off of Facebook. 
I was advertising on nothing but Facebook and Facebook groups. So yes, some of the clientele I was getting was pretty crappy and I was having to do some not cheap work because I don't do cheap work, but you know, I was having to find ways to do the job that were within their budget. But things have changed now. I haven't been able to give you guys an update because we've had two hurricanes that just passed. I haven't had time to get on here, but I want to get on here and I will be getting on here. But we've just had a lot going on here. But since I started this a year and a half ago, I mean, we're talking about a guy that was in a minivan for the first two days running calls. Then I got the truck. I now have a full-time employee that rides with me, just a helper, but he rides with me every day because I don't want to be out there by myself. I don't mind paying a helper. It's just these addicts are so hot and everything. You know, if I pass out or something, I want somebody there with me. And it's nice to have another set of hands. So I have a full-time employee that rides with me pretty much almost every day. During the summertime, every day. Right now, it's not so much every day right now. A lot of it I'm doing by myself. But, and, you know, the wintertime, he understands that. You know, um, but he's still riding with me the majority of the week, even right now, because it's still 85 degrees outside. But anyway, I treat all my clientele the same, okay? That, I, you know, that that job I did today, don't think I did that job on the cheap, because I didn't. I I charged that man, I mean, I didn't rape him, but he got charged a fair, decent price. It ain't no little, I didn't turn no little $500 profit on that job, okay? But things I do that I did today, I didn't just put the little flexible hose for the drain. We ran a whole new drain, all new, okay? We put a T at the top of the coil to where we can access it. Now, the trap is under the house, Because on a mobile home, there's no way to trap it. You know, you have to stay within that clearance of the door. But we did run solid PVC. The trap is under the house. The house is easy to get under. It's got a slab underneath it. It's got, or the runners underneath it. It's visqueened. Very easy to get to. We put a trap under the house. And instead of letting the uh, condensate dump outside, that was one of his complaints. The condensate was dumping outside right by the condenser, and it was staying saturated right there. He asked me if there was anything we could do to resolve that. I said, yes. So we took the drain line, and we ran it into his sewer pipe. We drilled a hole in the sewer pipe, screwed in a male adapter, glued everything up, and now his PVC is running into the sewer line. We have a trap so he doesn't get any sewer gas back up in the house, and that's what he wanted. So we, you know, we didn't just put the little flexible thing on there. You know, we caulked up where the where the copper and the drain penetrate the floor. We didn't leave that open for rodents to get through, like a lot of mobile home AC installers do. All that is closed up. You know, we we took a. I didn't just throw a five ton coil and condenser in there. No, I I knew that if he wanted to move to a five ton, that that blower that was in there was only good for four. I ordered a five ton blower. We installed it. We installed the bigger Mortex coil instead of just throwing the one in there because supposedly the little Mortex coils are good from uh, three to five tons. They're good for up to three. Anything, well, and you can get away with a three and a half on the small one. But anytime I do four or five tons, I use the bigger one. But to sit here and tell me, oh, get you a better clientele, look, like I said, since that since that happened, when I started this company, I now have a very, you know, a very nice truck. I'm fixing to get my name put on it. I'm ag- but I'm not getting it lettered. I'm just going to get magnets. Most of the guys, it's not a state law here that when you're in the heating and air business that you have to have your name on your truck. It is not a state law. But I'm not going to uh, sticker it in case, just in case I decide to do something else with it. When you, because when you go to take them stickers off, you can still see the glue and all that. So I'm gonna have two nice magnets made for the for the two doors, and uh, you'll be able to see my name good. And I'll even have a nice big one. Actually, I'm gonna have two made for the tailgate, one for each side of the tailgate latch. The one will be my logo with the phone number, and then on the other side of the tailgate latch, it's just gonna be a list of things that I do to where if somebody's behind me, it'll say like, you know, sir, uh, sales, service, repair, uh, free estimates, stuff like that. 
and it, it, they'll all be magnets. That way, if I buy another truck, all I got to do is take them off and slap them on a new truck, and I'm ready to go. I don't plan on buying a new truck anytime soon. I love the truck that I have. It runs great. Um, but And I also now have financing. I don't know if I mentioned that. I now have financing for my customers. And that has really you know, picked up my clientele. The website has helped. People are starting to find me on Google now instead of Facebook. So people are going on the Google and they're typing in, you know, AC repair in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I'm pulling up. So my clientele is changing, but to sit here and downgrade to to that guy that downgraded people that live in mobile homes, I don't treat people like that. Okay. I've been in a tight spot in my life. I've been broke as a joke. Uh, you know, I, I, I've right now me and, you know, I'm, I'm not rich by any means, but I'm doing well for myself. I've been well for myself. I've been dead broke. So I don't judge people. I don't judge people by what they live in. And for you to say something like that, you know, I don't really care if you continue to follow me. I treat everybody the same. Everybody gets the same quality of work, which is top notch with me. So I just wanted to clear that up. I wanted to address that and also address why a five-ton air handler was put in a mobile home. If you don't agree with it, that's great. Congratulations to you. I really don't care. And I I hate to say it like that, but to you haters out there that are still going to say, you don't need a five-ton and a blah, blah, blah. Hey, that is your opinion. That's your opinion. But I have been doing this a long time. That unit is running fantastic. The pressures are great. Everything looks good. I don't see that man having any issues, and that is not the first five-ton I've done. I know how to do them. When people make fun of me and they say, oh, yeah, that's all he does is mobile homes. That, you know, that's not true. It's not all I do. But I do a lot of them because there's a lot of companies here that don't do them. And if they do do them, they do them wrong. So I don't mind doing them. I I make a very good living doing them, but it is not all I do. You can go to my Facebook page and look. I've been doing a change out almost every day for the past few months. uh, Friday, almost a week ago, I did a double change out on a very nice house, a gorgeous house. Two 16 sears, as a matter of fact. I I took out two carrier systems, two old carrier systems, and I put in two 16 sear rude systems double change out you know charge the premium price for that job and i did another double change out um when that, that last double change out that i did was uh i'd say two weeks ago i did another double change out now the she uh she chose to, well I've, I've uh I did a video on it. It's the one. Well, no, I didn't do a video on the change out. I did a video of me of the repair work where the lady's fence got knocked over and I kind of, you know, it had a bad, one of them had a bad blower motor. The other one was out of refrigerant, blah, blah, blah. And I even put pictures at the end. So I did a double change out on that job. I did a double change out a little less than a week ago. Yesterday, I did a four ton heat pump system. Now that is also a double change out, but we can't do the two-ton system right now he's got a four and a two so we did the four ton yesterday the two-ton it'll be probably another month or two before we can do it because the area that the two-ton controls was damaged in the storm like that part of the house literally fell the wall i mean you can it's a gigantic hole you just walk right in that part of the house so that all has to get fixed before the air can be put in. I mean, it tumbled the two-ton heat pump over, literally twisted the cop, the suction line. So it's going to be a month or two before we get back over there to do it. But I, I have that system to do. Uh, I have a lady right now that I'm texting as I'm shooting this video that uh, wants to put a new system in her house. She needs financing. So I'm about to text her a link to my financing. She's going to run the application. And if she gets approved... We'll be putting her system in one day next week. Saturday, I have another system to put in. I have a two-ton system to put in, uh, a change-out on a bonus room on a house. It's a bonus room that they added after the house was built. It's got a little two-ton on it, and uh, it's an old system. It still works, but it's got some issues. I told him I could fix the issues. The wife wants it replaced because that's where she spends all her time. That's where her computer's at. 
and her desk and all that. He wanted to kind of just, you know, maybe patch the system that was there, which I did offer. I did offer to, you know, to make the repairs, but she was able to talk him into replacing the system because she spends so much time in that in that area. So we're going to do a two ton system for her for them uh, later this week. So, and then, and none of these are mobile homes. Okay, so don't just sit there and say that's all I do because it's not. Uh, the job I did yesterday wasn't, and the double change out wasn't, and the one I'm doing I got to do it Saturday because that's the only day that they're available. That's not a mobile home either. So. But do I love, like, oh, absolutely. I love doing mobile homes. It's easy money. Easy money. No attic. You know, I have no issue with it. Okay, well, I'm looking at the clock, the timer here, and I've been sitting here rambling for about 20 minutes. So, uh, but I- I'll try to chop some of it up. But anyway, uh, you know, guys, don't leave comments like that. You, you, you Just because you do something a certain way doesn't mean that that's how everybody else has to do it, okay? You don't know how it works in the rest of the world. Don't and and don't don't judge somebody just because they live in a mobile home. You know what is it with you guys that? Uh, oh, you live in a mobile home. You're trash. I mean, I come down here and say that to somebody and see what'll happen to you. But anyway, I digress. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I apologize about the rant, but I felt that it was worthy. It was worth me explaining. So. Uh, until the next one, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.